This is a temperature controlled sap pump controller that I created. Um, it has a bunch of different features in it. You can start and stop a sap pump based on the outdoor temperatures. You can delay the starting and stopping of the pump based on a set amount of time. You can override that starting and stopping delay if the outdoor temperatures change rapidly. And you can turn on and turn off a heater based on ambient temperatures. There's a couple different ways to power it. So it comes with an included USB-C cable, plugs in right here. You can plug it then into any uh, USB power supply. Um, you can also power it directly with uh, DC voltage, anywhere from six to 15 volts. So if you have a car battery setup or a solar setup, you can power it that way. Uh, the two connectors here are for two temperature probes. The one is for outdoor temperature and the other one is to measure ambient temperature. So if you have your pump in a cooler, or in a sugar shack, um, this is what's measuring that temperature so the pump doesn't freeze. The probes are interchangeable. Whatever's plugged into this for first port here will be the ambient temperature probe, and the other one plugged into the right port will be the outdoor temperature probe. And then here you have connections for a heater and here for the sap pump. On the front of the unit, if you're using a DC power supply, the green button turns the unit on and off. The blue button here allows you to override the temperature probe, so you can put it in manual mode off, manual mode on, or automatic mode. Same thing with the heater. You can turn the heater off, on, or have it work with the temperature probes. To make adjustments, the back of the unit slides off, and you have two rows of jumpers or dip switches here that you can adjust. Um, the top row generally allows you to turn or control temperatures, and the bottom row controls time. And uh, easiest way to show this is to just put some power to it and demonstrate it to you. So I'll just plug in a USB-C cable here. As soon as it turns on, it shows you the current settings for the unit. So you can see the temperatures it turns on and off at, any delay that's set, any delay override that's set, the heater on and off temperature. And then once that diagnostic is done, it starts to measure the temperature on these temperature probes here. So it cycles between the current status. So here you can see the pump is on and it's on automatic mode. Let it cycle one more time and you'll see that the heater is currently off and it's in automatic mode. To change these settings, you just press and hold until it changes. So here you see it's now set to manual on. Press and hold again. You'll see the pump is set to manual off. And finally, if I do it a third time, I'll reset it back into automatic mode. And the heater does the same thing here. So press this, you can see the heater set to manual on. Press it again, you can see the heater's manual off. Press it again, and the heater's back to automatic mode. So you saw the temperatures it was set to um, whenever it first powered on. And there's a handy little chart here that shows you all the different uh, settings you can adjust on this. So you can have the pump turn on anywhere from 27 to 41 degrees. You can have the pump turn off anywhere from 35 to 24 degrees. The heater can turn on at 34.5, 36.5, 38, or 40 degrees. It automatically shuts off the heater once it raises it one full degree in temperature. And then the second is the delay override. And the best way to explain this is to explain the delay on timer. So let's say that you have a day where it got down to 25 degrees at night, and then slowly the temperature's going up 30, 31, 32, and finally 33 degrees. Because you had a hard freeze at night, your sap lines are still going to be frozen solid. So maybe you set a 30 minute timer um, if you're out in full sun, that way the sun melts the sap in your lines. If you're in the shade, maybe you set it for an hour timer, hour and a half timer. Um, but if the temperature continues to go up, say 34, 35, 36, 37, very quickly, you can do a delay on override. So if you have it set, for example, to the default of the pump turns on at 33 degrees and it turns to 38 degrees, which is a plus five degree difference, the pump will ignore any delay on timer you have and automatically turn on. And the same is true for the delay off timer. So oftentimes the sap inside the tree is much warmer than the ambient air temperature. And so if the temperature drops below your shutoff temperature, say it's 27 degrees, um, but it was a really warm day and you want your pump to continue pumping, you can say continue pumping for another hour 
after it reaches the shutoff temperature. But if things are cooling down quickly, uh, gets down to 24 degrees, you know your lines are gonna freeze solid. So if you set this to minus three, it'll ignore any delay off override timer you have and turn off the pump. Um, to make changes to it, uh, you just flip these switches on or off. Uh, I use a screwdriver sometimes, it's easier to get in than messing with my fingers. But if we uh, look at this chart here, if I wanted to change it to turn on at 27 degrees, this first jumper goes up. And then if we wanted it to turn off at say 24 degrees, you can see jumpers five, six, seven, and eight. We want off, on, on, on. So jumpers five, on, on, oops, sorry, off, on, on, on. And then uh, we can turn the heater temperature on to say 40 degrees. So these last two jumpers will flip up here. And then if we wanna delay on override, you can see jumper one on this bottom needs to be set. Uh, we can do a delay off timer if we wanted it to be one hour. Um, that's showing that it should be off, on, off for jumper two. So off, jumper three, on, jumper four, off. If we want to delay off override, jumper five should be turned on. So we turn that on. And then a delay off timer is set uh, one hour. We want on, off, on for these last three jumpers here. So on, off, and on. So the system will show the new settings that are here. Since I had it turned upside down, you can't easily see it. So if I just pull this power out, plug it back in. Again, as soon as it boots, it shows you what your current settings are. So on at 27, off at 24, delay on and off timers both set for one hour, delay override temperatures plus five degrees, minus three degrees, and a heater on and off at 40 degrees and 41 degrees. So uh, any questions about the unit, feel free to reach out. I hope you find this as uh, useful as I did in my SAP operations.